Hey! All right, everybody. Episode 10 on the old e-bike build. And what's going on this week? Uh, a bit of grinding, a bit of minor fabrication, uh, back tail light, brake light, headlight brackets have turned up. There'll probably be some other things turning up. It always is. Um, also, oh, I bought some crimpers and they're a bit rubbish, to be honest. But anyway, let's have a nice cup of tea and get on with the video. Hoi! Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't told you what I'm doing. I'm not going to tell you either. <laughs> no, what I'm doing is I'm grinding a bracket. I bought a, like a, a aftermarket brake light that comes with a bracket that doesn't fit my aftermarket number plate bracket. So I've got to try and make this bracket fit the other bracket, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's carry on. Warning, the next series of clips contain extremely unpleasant sounds. So there you go, uh, because one is steel and the other metal is aluminium, I had to use epoxy to join them together and I drilled the two holes so I can put the original bolts, which don't go through all the way, uh, just to give it a bit more strength. Um, you can see in the picture though that it looks a bit rough and ready. I gotta sand it down a bit and paint it and it'll all look tickety-boo. So here we go, just got these in the post, these are to mount the uh, head mount the headlamp and you can see they're perfectly round and I think they're 42 mil so it fits the forks perfectly so hopefully it's going to be okay I've done a little test fit on the top well it says 42 mil there look see there we go and I might have to use one or two washers just to move this arm out slightly so it so it fits the headlamp correctly but the only problem is uh, because they're the way they're designed now, I've got to take the triple clamp top part off and the head and the um, not the head and the handlebars off so I can slide these down. Also, there's um, there's like a stop thing which goes against the frame, like a rubber, which is gonna to have to sit in between each one of these. But um, they, they look pretty good and they're much better than the other, other thing I had. They, they come in each packet like this, like uh one in each packet. Also, it comes with uh, some spacers if you need them, if the, if the headlamp is smaller. And it's got brief instructions. It's just, you know, look, front fork. The back hole is for the indicators and the front hole, the front hole is for the headlight. But uh, a big improvement on 
the original bracket that came with the headlamp because that, that was awful. I hope these uh, work okay. They're aluminium, al al aluminium, or if you're in America, aluminum. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop waffling. Let's go and put them on. So here we are, I fitted it on, and I gotta say, it's been a pain in the bum. Because it doesn't quite, it's not quite, it's not 100% right, because it's, it's a slight angle going on. I don't know if I can overcome that somehow. It gets a bit tight when you do these up, it gets a bit tight. Uh, the good brackets, Oh, fiddly, fiddly, diddly, and take and I had to take all this off as well. Take all that off. I had, to, I had to take these off, these rubber things you put them back on. It's not in the right position yet, but anyway. And also, let me get my tape measure out. Front indicators on a moped are supposed to be 240 mil apart. Wear it about. Let me come over here a bit like this. Let's put on the right position. We're about 225 mil apart. <laughs> I need to find another 15 mil. Can I? I don't know where I'm going to find it from though. Anyway. Problems. It's always problems. But like they say, well, there's no such thing as problems, only solutions. Oh, I'm just waffling. So here we go. I'm making up a loom to extend the rear indicators and the, the back tail light. So I'm using these connectors. They're supposed to be waterproof, but you can see through there, so it's not it's not that waterproof at all. But anyway, I got these, and I got some rubbish crimpers. <laughs> but they were about fifteen quid. These crimpers, and they're not the best. They they do the job just about. But anyway, I looked online, and the way you do it is well. This is what somebody showed me. Go about, get about that much of the wire, like that. Give it the old twisty roo. Get my box of connectors. Get one of these out. Little little pla uh, rubber thing, and one of these. Pop that on me, like that, and then. Because it's a thin wire, I'm going to do that with it, double it over. Because it's so thin, it wouldn't crimp properly. So I'm going to put that in there. Push that bit in there like that. I push these together a little bit because they it, it don't go in the crimping machine otherwise. Get the crappy crimping tool. And then line it up. Like so. Push it in a bit in that one. I gotta go in this small one here, but you've gotta make this a bit smaller to fit in that one. So I gotta go maybe that one, that one, and that one. And then you gotta push this thing here. Open it back up. And then it might fit in this one now, so look. Bit of a squeeze, hopefully. Get a 
give you a little crimp -a You gotta push this open again. It's taking me ages to do one crimp. Then I gotta go across it then. It's still not quite right because the jaw's not wide enough. Because you haven't crimped this yet, look, see? And it's going wrong. It's all going wrong. So that one side's alright, the other side's all wonky. And then down there like that. Crimp a roo. And then see even the handle's coming off, look. <laughs> You get what you pay for, you see? And there we go. I don't know if you can see that there. But that's that's nicely crimped there that bit. This not so much here. But it's okay, it's holding that in. So that'll do. And then you get your plug. And you look how to line it up. And you pop it in there. And it'll click. And it's in there, look. See? So, my advice, buy more expensive crimpers because it'll make your life easier. But it's doing the job. It, it, it'll do what it's meant to do. So this, this, is a, this is the loom to extend from the back end to under the seat. When I pour it on, I'll show you eventually. But uh, that's what I'm doing with that. So after using some automotive loom tape, I ended up with a nice connector looking like this. Pretty good. Now, I don't want to go down the route where I got loads of connector blocks like this, and it ends up looking like a plate of spaghetti. So it's probably going to take me a while to uh, do the wiring loom because I want to do it right. Right, another thing I'm doing is cutting, bought this big length of uh, heat shrink. I have to cut off loads of these, just keep one to measure them all, just keep cutting, like that, until you have enough, and then all I'm doing is I'm getting the, the bus bars, Slipping the sleeve on like that. I don't know if you can see here. I'm going to have... That'll be the first one for the plus. With the red sleeve. And I'll do blue all the way along. Till I get to the end. And then I'll have the negative down. I think the, the plus will be up there. The negative or the other way around. So anyway. And it, it just it helps if you drop anything in the centre. I mean if you drop something here. It's going to go poof anyway, but it just is a little bit safer, isn't it? And then I just get the old heat gun. Do this one in there. Oh, gets a bit hot on your own fingertips, that does. And you can see it'll be like that all the way along. There we go. Red on one end, black on the other. Ho ho! Right, so there you go. Um, getting on slowly, you know, getting near the end. It'll be a while yet, but uh, not a lot left to do. Now, um, mud guards. I need some mud guards for the front and the rear. I've had a quick look online, but nothing's jumped out to me. So if any of you guys who watched the uh, the video know of any good mud guards, at the, the front one that will fit the... Uh, DNM USD8 forks and then for the back one I, I don't know something something nice and tidy so if you know if you know anything any good ones 
chuck a chuck a link in the old uh, description comment section part. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike. I don't mind either way. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Much appreciated if you subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hoi!